Hello, everybody. This is Donna. Welcome to my channel, Restore Glory. Guys, thank you so much for stopping by my channel. I am here today to show you a haul. I have a haul from a Goodwill, uh, a lot of stuff from Goodwill. Oh, my goodness. And I have a haul from my favorite new honey hole, that antique store that's about 40 minutes away from me. So not a lot from that store, but I think the what I got is, is, is definitely um, epic. Um, but I'm here today on a Friday evening. It is absolutely uh, rainy and dreary today. I think we're getting, <clears throat> excuse me, remnants of Hurricane Ian. And certainly my my heart and my uh, prayers go out to those folks who are in Florida who were affected by uh, this devastating, devastating uh, hurricane that came through a couple of days ago. And it's just been devastating. And so my, my heart and my prayer are uh, are with those people who were affected. So... I just wanted to put that out there first and foremost. Um, but yeah, so I needed some retail therapy. I actually had a uh, crazy week and I decided, you know what? I was going to try to hold back on doing hauls until I, you know, got my inventory down. But the good news is that for the month of August and month and the month of September, my uh, sales have been brisk. And I'm really, really grateful for those who stop on my channel and go to RestoreGlory.com on Etsy and order from me because sales for me for the month of August and September have been really, really good. So I'm really grateful for that. So I felt like, you know, well, why not do some, why not do some retail therapy? I don't know if you guys like, I do one or two things. Either I stress eat or either I shop. So that's just me being completely honest and transparent. Um, the pandemic did not help. And, um, but I certainly do. Um, I try to be a little bit disciplined in terms of eating. At least I try to eat healthy for sure, but I do stress eat and, um, and then I shop. So I, I kind of sort of lean toward the, the shopping because it just, I don't know, it just brings me joy. So that's what I did today. And I think I found some amazing stuff. I couldn't even believe my goodwill my Goodwill was literally on fire. Now, I do have, let's see, one or two items I think I picked up from 2nd Avenue. I haven't been to 2nd Avenue, their store, in a good little while just because um, I was about to say something mean. They, um, th Their inventory is not good, right? But um, I just happened to stop by there one day because I was over in that area. And I said, you know what, Donna, just go ahead and stop by. And they had all of their Halloween stuff off. It was like 75% off. And so if you guys know anything about vintage Halloween uh, animated items such as Gimme or G-E-M-M-Y Industries, I think it's pronounced either Jimmy or Gimme, those items are highly collectible. Like I'm not into Halloween. I don't decorate for Halloween, but I know those items are, um, they're collectible. So I have a a bunch of items that are already on my Etsy shop right now that I got from Second Avenue because Halloween is coming up and I wanted to get those things on my uh, shop soon so that uh, people can get them and get them in time. So it's a little bit late. I do realize that, but I think that these are some amazing, cool items. I do have one or two items I'm going to show you, but if you're interested in any Halloween, you if, if that's your jam and you are interested in any vintage animated Halloween decor, Go check out Restore Glory. I'll put the link down here in my description and you'll see all the animated stuff that I have for um, for Halloween. So, uh, so yeah. So, having said that, I'm going to start with the thrift store items first and then I'll move over to the uh, items that I got from the antique store. All right. So, so the first item I'm going to show you is just a, a, a spoon rest. It's a spoon rest of this uh, lovely, lovely owl. And so nothing too spectacular about it. There's no maker's mark on the back. I suspect this may even be um, maybe home goods or something like that. But it's cute. People love owls. And the owls usually sell really well for me. So I decided to get it. No chips, no cracks or anything. My fingernails are horrible. Well, anyway, you know, beauty comes second. We'll have to get that done this weekend. Um, so, guys, don't pay attention to my fingernails. Anyway, um... This is actually a spoon rest. It's an owl, and it's in excellent condition. No chips or no cracks or anything on this baby. And I thought I would pick it up. I took the the uh, stickers off, so I'm not sure exactly how much I paid for this. But, of course, I was going to pick it up. All right, the next item I got, I have a set of two of these. These I got from the Goodwill, actually. And I thought they were relatively cute. Now, I'm going to show you both of them. So, they're like these... Um, 
is, this is glass. I think they are candle holders, as you can see from the top. They are uh, they are encased in this glass, and they have some dry flowers and um, some um, some fake leaves and uh, fake flowers. Not dry flowers, but fake flowers and fake leaves. But I have a set of two. Let me back up a little bit. Lord of mercy. I have two of these. And um, the tag on one of them, let me put this here. The tag on one of them says, Made in Mexico. Let me just show you that, guys, so you can see it. So I don't know that they're vintage, but they look kind of sort of vintage in mid-century modern, right? They're in an excellent condition, and I think that if you wanted to add these to your home decor um, for a retro kind of sort of vintage home decor uh, uh, flavor, that these will look pretty amazing. Right? I love these, and I think these were only like $1.99. So I thought those were pretty, pretty cool. All right, the next item I got from the Goodwill, I actually uh, walked right by this, and I'm like, oh, no, Donna, don't worry, don't even worry about that. You have a, don't even worry about it, but I'm so glad I picked it up. It is a Lucille Ball, believe it or not, a Lucille Ball. It's a, it's a bank. I think you put your coins down in there. I paid $3.99. It is by this company called Van Door, V-A-N-D-O-R. It says Van Door 1996. Hope you guys can see that. But this thing is in excellent condition, but I will say they're in excellent condition except for this little boo-boo right here. She definitely does have a chip right there. But for the most part, Lucy is in excellent condition. She is a uh, redhead and red lipstick and, you know, arched eyebrows. She is doing the daggone thing, Miss Lucy. Right? And here's the back. And it was so funny because it was a lady. It was a lady that, <laughs> oh my God. There was a lady that was, she saw this in my car. She said, is that Lucille Ball? I'm like, uh, yeah. So she said, are you going to get it? I'm like, uh, yeah. You know, so I don't, you know, I don't know whether that she wanted it or whatever, but she was like, I in my cart, like, oh my goodness, that's Lucille Ball. But I don't see any other uh, chips or cracks on Lucille. And, but that definitely is like the spitting image of her, right? So, I am a huge Lucille Ball fan. I think I've watched like every single episode that was out. And um, again, I paid $3.99 for this baby. And when I looked this up, there's one listed on um, eBay for about $50 now. I think the sold that I saw was about $30 something. But um, th this one has sold on eBay. But I think there's one listed right now for about $50. So I'm going to do a little bit more research on Lucy and see how much I can get for her. But with the exception of this little boo-boo uh, chip on her on her shoulder here, I think I'll do pretty well with my $3.99 investment, right? So that's that. Alrighty, the next item I'm going to show you is a, a cat. I do really well with cats. This one is uh, so cute. I think this is a, this is a Siamese cat. There's no mark, maker's mark on the bottom. Here's the bottom. But he is so adorable. Look at those eyes. How could you not like love him? Me and my daughter were talking uh, uh, talking to the car yesterday. We had this whole discussion, this whole conversation about people who are cat lovers and people who are uh, dog lovers. And our family falls into the we love dogs category. But she was saying she has friends who love cats. You know, they absolutely love cats. So I like, yep. So animals are animals. So the next item I'm going to show you guys is a, I walked right by this baby and I wasn't going to get it. I was like, okay, Donna, don't even worry about that. Excuse me. It is a Margaritaville inflatable shark toss game. Can you guys see that? All of the pieces in there, you blow up this balloon here and then it has these little red discs that go inside of the shark's mouth, right? And so, um, yeah, one inflatable shark and then four flying discs. Right? This was only, how much was this baby? $3.99. Was this half off? No, it wasn't. $3.99. And I figured this will be easy to ship. Uh, I know the summer is over and a lot of people probably won't be interested, but you know what? I'm still going to list this baby. And I think this will be like a little fun addition for next season. Right? And uh, when I look this up on eBay, they sell for about $25, $26. So, and it's, when I looked it up, it's wrapped so that they, I don't, I don't think this has been used. So I think I did pretty good with the $3.99 investment on this baby. And it looks kind of fun, right? I know my family would totally use that. All right. So the next item I'm going to show you, I got to tell you a story about this. So this one was a second Avenue pickup. 
So let me just show it to you. Look at that. Isn't that gorgeous? Absolutely beautiful. Let me just show you the back. It says S Syracuse. I've seen that name before, 1979. So I absolutely have seen that signature before. So I knew that it was vintage because of the 1979 uh, date on it. So, um, right. So when I went to Second Avenue, that's one of the reasons why I just stopped going to Second Avenue their stores because yeah for a bunch of reasons guys and I won't get into it or whatever most of my friends who know me know why I don't go there and um a lot anymore because they have changed a lot and I've seen some hmm how do I put it I've seen some unscrupulous business practices there so I'll just leave that where that needs to be so this one was, there was no price on it. And I follow the rules. Like if there's no price, I totally get it. You know, if they say, hey, all of our people who price are in the back, it's no big deal. But when you see other, when you see managers, when they pick and choose, like if when you see managers give prices to other people right there on the spot, then certainly you're going to feel like, okay, well, maybe you can do the same. So, um... With this particular piece, there was no price on it. And I went to a, a very known manager in the store and I said, well, hey, there's no price on this. Can you just price it for me? I said, whatever it is, whatever the price is, I'll decide whether or not I'm going to get it or not get it. And this is a very, this is a manager that I, that I know very well. I'm going to just put it that way. I don't even know how, I'm trying to be kind. I don't want to say anything mean. Um... So then I get the whole thing about, well, you know, they're all gone for the day and, you know, and, you know, I can't price them. I'm thinking, well, hey, you're the manager, number one. Um, so either say, hey, it's a dollar or say $12. I don't really care, but you're the manager. Don't you have the authority to, to look stuff up or look stuff up or price stuff? If you have a customer that's interested in something, you know, I'm just asking the question. Not that I want her to change the rules in terms of, you know, how things are priced. But when you see other people in the store who get price items priced on the spot, then naturally you want to be able to, you know, see if you can get the same type of courtesy. And, um, and I was getting a little bit of pushback, but I pushed back a little bit more and said, Hey, I'm, I'm, I'm here. I want this item. I just need to get a price on it. So, and I actually had another item too, and I'm going to show you that. I'm going to put a um, picture of this item. It's called a spirit ball. And the only reason why I picked that spirit ball up is because, um, what's her name? Oh my gosh, she's with Gemini Thrifts. And I'll always forget her. Tina, Tina with Gemini Thrifts. If you guys don't know Gemini Thrifts eBay sales, I'll put her link down here. She is amazing. She doesn't know me from Adam, but... Um, yeah, she picks up a lot of stuff from, she She just is a very eclectic um, reseller and she sells a lot. And so, um, I don't know why I went off on that tangent. But anyway, why did I go off on that tangent? Oh my God, I'm so sorry, guys. I'm so sorry. Anyway, so I was able to get, the long story short with this particular butterfly vase is that I was able to get a price on it. I think she charged me $3.99 for this, which is completely fine. A price is a price. Now, if I didn't want a $3.99, I could have said, okay, fine, that's great. Thank you for offering that or, or giving me that price. But I'm thinking if you're the manager, then manage. Sorry. Sorry that I went off on that tangent, guys. I just was all over the place. You know, let me just let me just say this, guys. So here, here lately, the thrift stores in my area, I don't know where you guys are. I have no idea where you guys might be, but for, I'm speaking to the resellers, not the people who are interested in kind of sort of buying from my shop. I'm speaking to the resellers. The model of resellers have changed. I think and, and the the fact that the thrift stores have changed their um pricing structure, listen, it's a free enterprise. They can do what they want to do in terms of raising their prices. As a reseller, I can decide whether or not I'm gonna get it or whether or not there's enough meat on the bones, if you will, for me to uh for me to buy an item so that I can sell it for a profit. I do this because I enjoy it, but at the end of the day, I'm doing it because I am looking for a profit. Right? So um I have no qualm with the with the thrift stores um pricing however they price, but but please don't practice unscrupulous 
business dealings with people. Don't pick and choose who you give bargains to and who you don't give bargains to. Now, I know you guys probably, I know, I'm not trying to be vague about what I'm saying or be um, mysterious about what I'm saying, but I have experienced it with my own eyes firsthand, firsthand, particularly with resellers, right? There's enough stuff, enough junk on the shelves for all of us, right? There doesn't have to be this doggy dog type of atmosphere that, you know, I have experienced and it, it makes me super duper sad. And that's one of the reasons why I have stopped going to Second Avenue in particular. Goodwill, I think, is, is still relatively good. But with certain thrift stores, I just don't go anymore because I see so much underhanded, um, unscrupulous practices, both from the store's point of view and from other unscrupulous resellers' point of view. So I will leave that where that is. Sorry for the rant. So anyway, the next item, guys, I'm going to show you is a set of glasses. I believe these babies are anchor hawking. I'm not really sure. I'll put the... Uh, I'll put the link up here um, in my, up here so you guys can see. I believe this is Anchor Hawking. I have a set of six of these and I pay $5.99 for a set of six of these and they are all in excellent, excellent condition. They call this something like something bubble, you know, forest green, something or whatever, but these are in excellent condition. Again, I have some, these like little sherbet kind of sort of cocktail glasses. And again, like I said, I only pay $5.99 for a set of six of these. And I think I recently saw six of these on eBay for about, I want to say they were, I think somebody took a best offer for like $49.99. Well, the, it was crossed out. So whatever, they must have took a best offer because I think the original price was $49.99. So I think I did pretty good with these. And now I remember what I was going to tell you about Tina. So she actually had this thing, and I'm going to put it up here because I want you guys to see it. It is this thing called a spirit ball, and it's this, it's a Jimmy G M M Y product, and it's huge. It came in this kind of sort of 18 by 18 by 18 size box. The box was a little banged up, and I'll show you, I'll show you it up here. Um, but the item inside the box was in excellent condition. It's like it, it was barely used. Now, the um, um, it's a Halloween item. But I paid, what, $3.99 or $4.99 for it? And those babies go for about $70, $80, about $70 or $80. And it works, it's animated, and it's um, it works, it's in great condition. So I'll put it up here. And as a matter of fact, I'll put the video up here, guys, so you can see the video, what I'm talking about. So don't discount vintage animated G-E-M-M-Y products because those babies do sell. And Tina... With Gemini Thrift, she picks up everything. And I, I learned from her, and she picks up everything. And those items that I've seen her sell, they sell really well. So don't sleep on the vintage Jimmy products. All right, let's see. So the next item I'm going to show you, speaking of Halloween, I, I paid $0.99 cents for this set of um, Halloween lights. Now, I'm probably going to keep these for myself because I have, like, um, for my decor for the fall, I'll put them up on my mantle and um, and just put them in my greenery. So that's the reason why I got these. Again, they were only 99 cents. And so I'll just put them um, in my greenery. And it just gives kind of sort of like a little fall glow. So I picked up those for 99 cents. Now, the next item I'm going to show you, I have a set of two of these, right? And I walked by them. I said, like, what the heck are those things? But I picked them up and I'm so glad I did. So these are a set. Look at these. These, I have two of these. This is a, this is a nightlight and they are by um, the Cabbage Patch. They are Cabbage Patch Kids Nightlights, right? And I have two. It says made in Taiwan right there. And um, yeah, and here's the cord. And these babies are in excellent condition. No chips. No, I was so surprised because this is kind of so like that chalkware. And I don't see any chips or cracks or anything on these two. And I have two of them. Um, and I believe when I looked these up, I believe that one went for about $28 for one. <laughs> So I think I did pretty good with these Cabbage Pat Night Lights. All right, let's see. So the next item I'm going to show you is something that I picked up. And I didn't realize that it had damage until I got it home and I expected it further. But it's a uh, it's a sun catcher. 
and it says I love my cat. Anything with cats really do well for me. So I decided to pick, I know that um, um, people are cat lovers. And so I wanted to pick this up because I thought it was so cool. And I'm still going to go ahead and sell it, but I, I probably won't um, list it for much. So it is it is signed. It says Karen R on the bottom. Do you guys see that? But look at that beautiful image. I love my cats. But the problem is that all, I believe that all of this, um, there was some paint, that some paint loss here. All of that uh, kind of sort of yellow, kind of golden color is gone. But you probably won't even notice it, I guess. But nonetheless, I just thought it was so cool and I didn't want to leave it because I know that, um, you know, they're cat lovers. So I think what I'm going to do, now that I'm thinking about it, I don't think I'm going to sell it. I think that if I sell anything that has a cat a figurine or anything that has like a cat mug or a cat plate. I think I'm just going to throw this in the package so that, um, yeah, I think I'm just going to throw that in as a bonus gift. I think that's what I've just decided that I'm going to do. All right. So that's that. Um, the next item I'm going to show you. So guys, so you know how as resellers, you know how we always complain about how the thrift stores kind of sort of tape stuff up, particularly if it has gold, uh, gold on it or whatever kind of so we, we don't want to pull the tape off because the tape will destroy the finish right so um with this particular piece let me just show you how beautiful it is it's this cobalt blue and gold little trinket box right now i had to carefully put, peel the tape off this baby because um there is a label there i could not read all of it right and i didn't realize that um um I didn't realize that I didn't, I, first of all, I couldn't make out what that was. And I wasn't even worried about it because I knew that once I took the tape off, it probably was going to peel it off, which it did do. And I couldn't salvage it. So on the back part of it, which, which the tape went all the way around and the price was, they covered up the maker's mark. So I was pleasantly surprised to see that on the bottom of this particular piece, it says Decor Main Limoges France right and then when further when i took the tape off and i took the lid off here's the here's the base of the piece right here's the inside it is signed by it looks like pascale walid and i believe this is french and it says um i believe it says july 1991 i believe that's what that says thank you to madame samson who taught me french but i believe juliette is july i believe and uh, 1991, and the signature says Pascale Walid, W-A-L-I-D. So I was so elated to see that this is a Limoges piece. The only problem is, and it's beautiful, this beautiful cobalt blue color. I'm probably just going to um, clean it up a little bit, and I think I'm going to probably just go ahead and try to take that label off because I think the marking on the bottom and the fact that it does have this signature on the lid is probably going to be, it's going to, probably be enough so that I can list it but I could not find anything on that designer or that name w-a-l-i-d but the fact that it does say Limoges France if you guys know anything about this piece or about that artist please let me know because I could not find anything on uh, Pascale Walid nothing zero zilch so what I want to show you next, I am moving right along. All right, so the next item I got from Goodwill, right? Guys, this was only $1.99. Let me just show it to you. I mean, I'm going to show you the label in a minute, but let me just show you the vase. This very beautiful iridescent vase for $1.99, right? So when I looked at the label, the label says Cambridge. Do you guys see that label? It says Cambridge. So Cambridge definitely does hand-blown, hand-blown Cambridge vase, right? All right, here's the bottom. I haven't cleaned it up a little bit. It's definitely a little dirty. Um, when I looked up a Cambridge vase, they're selling for about $100. And I paid $199. So this is stunningly, stunningly beautiful. Of course, I'm going to clean it up. Make this baby shine like uh, shine like the sun. But isn't that gorgeous? Look at that. Gorgeous iridescent. For $1.99. Thank you, Goodwill. 
Absolutely gorgeous. I'm going to put that down there. All right, the next item I got from this is Goodwill. Yep, this is Goodwill too. $2.99, right? And this is a, oh my God, look at this, guys. It's a Fiesta. Vintage Fiesta. They call it Periwinkle Blue Vase. I paid $2.99. And these, uh, these uh, do very, very well. They sell for about $30 to $40. Periwinkle Blue. Goodwill was on fire. I'm telling you, they were on fire. And as a matter of fact, it has the original label. And it says, um, Medium Fiesta 9 and 5 8 Fiesta Periwinkle Blue Vase. You guys probably won't be able to see that. But the price tag on it was $38. Beautiful periwinkle blue color. Isn't that gorgeous? Fiesta. The inside is in, it's in pristine condition. Look at that. <laughs> Goodwill was on fire. They were. All right, so the next item I got from Goodwill um, is a beautiful basket. Now, I know that it looks black on camera, but when I held this baby up to the sun, it definitely is a very, 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 um, deep ruby red. I'm going to try to put it in the light so maybe it'll show, but I don't think that it is because of the lighting here today, but it is a, it is definitely a, um, like a ruby red color. Isn't that awesome? And I think this was only like $3.99 or something. So I'm like, yes, please. So I'm going to try to get this baby listed too, because I'm pretty sure that people may want to um, have this in their collection for, for the, um, for the fall and for Halloween. So yeah, all three of those pieces came from Goodwill, every single one of those. And I'm like, oh my goodness, Goodwill, you are giving me life. Seriously. So the next item I'm going to show you, I got this one from second Avenue and at first I wasn't going to get it. I'm not afraid to ship large pieces and I wanted to do exactly what George the Nomad uh, the Antique Nomad, you know I love him. Um, I wanted to do exactly what he told me to do is make sure you use your palm and make sure there aren't any chips or cracks. And um, so I decided to go ahead and pick this baby up. It was $8.99, but I'm so glad I picked it up. It's this beautiful iridescent, they call it an oyster plate, an oyster platter or a uh, bowl. And look how stunningly beautiful this thing is. It's probably a good, maybe 14 inches wide and maybe about 10 inches no, 14 inches wide and about 12 inches tall. Isn't that gorgeous? I paid $8.99 for it, but they sell for about 40 bucks. Isn't that gorgeous? Love it, love it, love it. All right, where's my time? All right, I think we're good. All right, so I told you about this baby. And all right, so let me just show you this plate. I'm just going to move this out of the way. So you guys know that I love Villaroy and Bach. Like, I really love them. I love the quality. I love the items that they have put out, um, but I love them. So I found a set of, I think I have eight plates like this. Let me just show you. One second. There we go. They're large. They're like 10 and three quarter size plates. This beautiful fall color. Let me just show you the back. Villaroy and Bach, and it says Chateau Clark. There weren't, a, there weren't a ton of these listed on eBay, but I think I saw, and if I if I see the soles, I'll try to put it up here. But I think when I did my initial research on these, um, this um, Chateau Clark plates, they go for like $22 a piece, between $22 and $24 a piece. And I think that I'm going to definitely get these things listed fairly soon because of the, um, obviously because of the subject but also because they kind of sort of have a fall vibe and um i paid for the set of eight i think i paid like 6.99 for a set of eight yeah so that was pretty cool all right so that's that all right so the next item i'm going to show you is definitely relevant to a, to the day's time i was watching uh, the news the other day and didn't even realize this whole thing happened did you guys know that nasa shot an asteroid out of the sky that was pummeling in the atmosphere. I didn't know that. But anyway, they did. 
and um, they destroyed it. So that's a good thing. Yay, NASA. So um, I found a NASA cookie jar. It's a, a, a what do you call this thing? I was about to say space shuttle. I think that is what they call it. Um, it's called an Apollo 11 Command Module Columbia right and i think whoever owned this before they put this tape around it because they probably didn't want to ruin their table but yes that's the bottom and it's made by this company manufactured by this company called the coop this cookie jar is in excellent condition i don't think this thing has ever 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 been used and i want to say i only paid like 5.99 for it there was another lady that was eyeing it and then i just kind of grabbed it off the shelf and i was like well you uh i'll buy so um I picked it up and I'm so glad I did because these do sell. And I think that they sell in the like $60 to $70 range. So I'm thinking, yeah, hello, NASA, hello, cookie jar. Like I said, here's the lid. Let me show you the inside. It is in excellent, pristine condition, like really good condition. It's it's in excellent condition. No chips or no cracks or anything. So I thought that was pretty cool. And uh, yay, NASA. I totally support NASA like that. I really do. My daughter has got me involved in, you know, anything that's space related. But, you know, I get excited about it. All right. So the next thing I'm going to show you is a set of mugs. One of them, unfortunately, had a chip. I didn't realize that until I, I got home. So they are, the first mug I'm going to show you is a Beatles mug. Let me just show you. It's embossed or I think they call it raised or embossed. So those are the Beatles, and it says, all you need is love. This was only, I think it was only 99 cents. I'm pretty sure it was. But this one is a Yellow Submarine production. It was produced by Subba Films in 2008. Right? So this one is in excellent condition. No chips, no cracks that I could tell. And here's the inside. It's in good condition. And then I saw another one of the Beatles. It's this one, right? And this one is just a little dirty. I got to clean that one out. But this one was made in 2001, right? So whoever gave these to the thrift store, they probably had a whole Beatle collection and they just gave them away. Now, I didn't discover that this baby did I had a chip. Actually, is it two chips? It is one chip. It's like one little teeny weeny little chip right there as you can see, but I thought I would do, I would list them both. I would sell this one. This one's in good condition. And then I would just um, put them two together. So you'll get this when you buy one, but you'll get two. Does that make sense? Who doesn't love the Beatles? Who doesn't love the Beatles? That's all I'm saying. All right, the next little item I'm going to show you, I only paid $1.99. These are like little, um, what do you call it? Um, Cocktail picks. I don't know why I picked these up. But anyway, they look vintage and I decided to pick them up. But it's interesting because I think I did look these up and they go for like $12. So anyway, I just picked those up. The next thing I'm going to show you is something brass. And I'm so glad I did because I wasn't going to pick this one up because I, I said, Donna, you have enough brass. But I'm so glad I did because I know the elephants are super duper popular. So I decided to pick this single bookcase up and I paid as you can see $4.99 for it. I got to clean them up a little bit. I'm not going to put any special um, polish on but I will clean them up because he's a little dusty but I will clean him up but I'm so happy to say that it does have a made in Korea sticker lot right there but I'm so happy to report that when I Look this one up, this exact same, a single one recently sold on eBay. I want to say it sold for like $30, $30 or $20 or $30. I can't remember, but I'm going to, if I find it again, I'm pretty sure I took a picture of it, but I'll put it up there, guys, so you can see the sold on this. So don't be afraid um, to pick up single book um, bookends because, and particularly if there's a great subject matter, and I think this one is, so... Of course, I was going to pick this up. That baby's heavy, too. All right. So the next item I'm going to show you, I had to make sure it worked. And it, I'm not going to take it out of the box, but it is so super duper cool. It is a um, <laughs> it is a hip swinging Snoopy, right? Snoopy is just swinging his hips away. And this is a, let's see, this is a, it's not Jimmy, I don't believe. I think it's a Disney production. Stick, bear with me, guys. Let me just make sure I'm telling you right. 
nope, it's not. Yes, it is. It is Gimme. Jimmy. I think it's Jimmy, right? So this is super duper vintage, right? I paid, how much did I pay for this baby? It was half off because it, it was 75% off. How much did I pay for it? Oh my God. I think it was originally $9.99. So I must have gotten 75% off of that. Hmm, that's interesting, guys. Honestly, I don't remember, but I know it was a great deal. And I took a chance on it because sometimes with these, sometimes with these animated products, you don't know whether or not they're gonna work, right? When they require batteries, you don't know. And I have bought a lot of stuff where even though it looks like it's in good condition and you put the batteries in, it just still doesn't work, right? So I'm like, okay. But this one, as soon as I bought this baby home, Snoopy was dancing. His, he was dancing to Disney Delight. He was doing his thing. And he's like a little uh, hip-swinging Snoopy. That's what they say. <laughs> so Snoopy was doing his thing, and he did. He did really, really well. And um, this one, um, I think this one sells for about $49. So I think I'll do well with that. This is another one that I'm going to try to get listed quick, fast, in a hurry. All right, guys, so speaking of other animated items that are Jimmy-related, hold on for a second. I'm oh, clinging. So this one's an animated skeleton. This one, um, <laughs> this one sings Putting on the Ritz. It is so cute, right? Like, again, I'm not a Halloween person. I don't decorate for the Halloween. It's just not my thing. It's not my jam. But I know plenty of people who do, and they love these kind of sort of cute, kitschy kind of, you know, things for that time period. Do you? All right. And I absolutely wanted to make sure that I get this one listed fairly, fairly soon because he does work. He, the batteries work on him and he sings the, he kind of sort of does like a little jig and he sings the song putting on the rich. Right. And again, this was 75% off. I don't remember how much this was. I think it was only like $4.99. So I got it for next to nothing. All right. The next item I got from Goodwill is another uh, Jimmy product. Now, I don't know whether or not this one works because it looks like it's still, it hasn't even been used. So it is a dancing hamster with Critter, Wild Critter Cody. That's his name, right? So Wild Critter Cody, I don't know whether or not you work, but um, I'm going to see if he works. And if he doesn't, that's fine. If not, what I'm probably ending up doing is giving it to my daughter because she's an animal lover. So it's not going to go to waste. She'll just keep it in her, you know, in her dorm room because she loves animals and she, she'll probably just think it's cute. Um, so if it doesn't work, no worries. I will give it to her and then she will use it for her uh, for her dorm room. The next item is a Spode product. I paid $2.99. It's a Spode Christmas tree dipping set. I'm not going to take it out of the box, but as you can see with the image, it's uh, two Crocs and I believe there's like little uh, dipping... Um, spoons if you will and they are in pristine condition i don't think these have ever been used um and i did look this up quickly in the store and i think they go for about 30 dollars. literally they sell spode does sell anyway spode is a good seller so we'll see if we can get this one listed i want to get my christmas stuff listed soon anyway so so that's that all right so i think that is it of all of the good oh one more thing sorry let me just show you this one little last thing I got from the thrift store. So this, you know, skeleton alert. This one was 75% off. I believe this is not blow mold. It might be kind of, it feels like almost foam, but it's just a uh, hanging skeleton. And he is absolutely vintage. My goodness, look at him. He looks like he's been around literally for a long time. But this one was 75% off. And I actually have two others that are already listed on my site already. And so I'm going to get him listed and see if I can get him to somebody's home to decorate for the Halloween season. And if not, you know, somebody will get him next year, I guess. But because it's a little bit too late for right now. So I think what I'm going to do, guys, I'm going to take, uh, let's see what time is. It's 40 minutes. Let's see. It's almost like I want to continue. I think I'm going to go ahead and just go ahead and continue and try to get this done in the next 20 minutes so that it doesn't last long. So I'm just going to go get go right to it. So everything I'm going to show you now, guys, is everything I got from the antique store, my favorite new antique store. They didn't have a lot today. Um, it seems like some of the vendors still had some, sort of the same stuff I've seen over the last couple of weeks, and that's typical. That's no big deal. I'm not worried about that. There were, there were some new items. Um but uh, a lot of it wasn't 
was pretty much the same. I found two amazing items that I can't wait to show you. And I'll just get right to it. But I'm looking at something right now that I completely forgot to show you that I got from the Goodwill. And I paid $1.99. Or was it 99 cents? It was either 99 cents or 199. But let me show you. Look at this. I believe this is McCoy. When I looked this up, I did a Google lens on this and this exact same piece showed up. And I do believe it is McCoy. Now, my only concern with this particular piece is that it does show, let me just see if you guys can see. Do you see, do you guys see those hairline cracks right there? It doesn't go through. It doesn't go through. The 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 ceramic doesn't appear to be loose, but there are some hairline cracks at the top. So I'm kind of sort of debating, do I want to just keep it or do I want to sell it? I'm not really sure what I want to do. It's almost like I just want to keep it. But when I looked at this particular, if this thing was didn't have any issues with it, I want to say that this goes for about $60 or $70. Isn't it beautiful? I love, love, love this turquoise color. Aside from that, there's no other chips or cracks or anything on this baby. It is just beautiful. So, yes, I think I either pay either $0.99 cents for this or $1.99. I'm not really sure. But nonetheless, it may just end up going up on the shelf over there. All right, guys, so I'm going to stop talking. I'm going to move on to the stuff I got from the antique store. So the first thing I'm going to show you is a Avon piece. It is an Avon. I'm going to call it like a, a soap slash trinket dish. It's this beautiful cherub. This thing is in excellent condition. I paid a good price for it. And uh, these uh, these do sell. They're online right now. And some have sold in the $23, $24 range. So I'm so glad I picked this up. I knew that it was Avon. There's the Avon mark on the bottom. But I said, why not? Don't sleep on Avon because some of the Avon stuff really does sell. All right. Speaking of Avon, here's a piece. I only paid like $4 for this. And this one is, uh, this one, this is an Avon bird. And uh, perfume, not perfume. Yeah, perfume, I guess. Uh, what do they call this baby? Um, Moon Wind Cologne is what they call it. Yep. And this little baby uh, does sell well, like in the $22, $23 range, right? It's so pretty, but it's definitely cologne. And I'm thinking, okay, Avon, let me find out. So I picked those two Avon pieces up. I'm like, why not? All right, the next item, you know, it's so funny because whoever this vendor was, let me, this is the tag we still left on it. So I'm like, okay, so I got a chalkware piece. This is it's a set of three swans. So here's the bigger one. There's a little bit of uh, paint loss, but nothing uh, too crazy. It's still in great condition. The big one. On one of the small ones, I think it was this baby right here. I think do I feel a chip? Yeah, it was this one, the me the medium size one. There is a chip on uh its nose right there. Right, but I still think it will display well. And here's the smaller one. So I think these will just still display well, this kind of sort of luster, kind of pearlescent uh, paint. And again, like I said, here's the larger one that's that has the gold accents. And then the, I have two of the smaller ones. So I thought that was cute. I wanted to pick that up. The next item, I believe, this wasn't marked. There was no marks on the bottom. Ugh, yucky tape. There was no marks on the bottom, right? But it looks like it's Majolica, <coughs> excuse me, this Majolica vase. And it has these beautiful frogs kind of sort of hanging out on this bamboo, I believe. And uh, there's no marks on it at all. Here's the inside. And um, I just thought this was pretty cool. So, of course, I was going to pick that baby up. I've sold uh, a few pieces that have frogs. I think people love frogs. And so, you know, I try to put things in my shop that people like and people collect. So anyway, I'm going to get this baby list. I thought it was kind of cute. I really did. All right. So the next item I'm going to show you is another barware. I cannot help myself with the barware. It just, it just seems to be, I'm drawn to it, but it does sell. Um, this piece I got for a good price, plus it was 20% off. So this is a um, uh, Anheuser-Busch uh, Natural Light Beer, just a regular sign, right? 
and I got a great deal on it and the shop was 20% off. So of course I'm like, yep, I'm gonna pick it up. And uh, here's the back, All right? This is made out of like a hard plastic. So for you barware lovers, here you go. And it says on the bottom, I thought I saw the date on it. Maybe I didn't, all right. Anyway, so I thought that was super duper cool for you bar lovers, right? All righty, and then the next item, now what do I wanna show you? I have two more items to show you. I'm trying to figure out what I'm show. Let me just show you the, the Fenton. All right, so here's another Fenton piece. Oh my God. So I definitely did pay up for this, for sure. I asked the vendor if they would give a discount and she said 10%, so I said, okay. That'll work. Um, so, yep, yeah, I got a 10% discount off of this particular piece, but it is stunningly beautiful. This stunningly beautiful amethyst color, the ruffled edge with the white uh, crest around it, I guess. Is that what you call it? And it is signed. It says hand-painted by M. Lernon, L-E-R-N-O-N -N or L-E-R-N-O-U. I'm not really sure, but um, just gorgeous. So I have two Fenton pieces that I'm going to get listed this weekend. And this is this is one of the two. Gorgeous. All right. So finally, the last I'm going to show you, I absolutely paid up. I did. This was, honestly, this was, it was, it was, it's not like it was impulse, but, um, yeah, it's not even that it was impulse. I just, I just did it. You know, you can try to justify stuff all you want to. But when I saw the soles on these, I'm like, okay, I, I think you'll be okay. It may sit for a minute, but I think you'll be okay. So let me just show you. I have a set of 24. <sighs> these Linux spice jars that are that have a Disney theme. So here is Mickey Mouse. And here is Minnie. And let me just show you the bottom on one of them. It's the Walt Disney Spice Jar Collection, Fine Porcelain by Lennox, right? And I have a set of 24. And here is a Pepper Spice Jar with the 100 Dalmatians. Boy, that wind is blowing now. And then here is um, Pinocchio. And that's for Bay Leaf. So again, I have a set of 24 of them. I paid up. But I will say, it doesn't hurt to ask. I asked the uh, shop person to ask the owner if they would do a discount. And they gave me a discount, which was great. It, was, it wasn't a overwhelming discount, but... It was a discount nonetheless, and she even told me that the she had, that, that this had just came in, and I thought that that particular set had been in the store for a while. I think I was thinking of another Linux set that I saw at another vintage store that had been there for a while. It wasn't Disney; it was um, it was just a spice set. I think it was like almost fifty pieces or something. Fifty uh, Linux spice sets that had about fifty pieces, and I was confusing the two. And I was hoping when I talked to the owner, I said, well, maybe they'll give me a discount because this has been here for a while. And she promptly corrected me and said, no, she put those in this week. So I said, okay, fine. I'm so sorry. But anyway, I said, well, can you just ask her, would she do a discount? Because I'm very inter interested in them and um, I have cash on hand. So maybe she'll give me a discount. So she's like, yeah, I know. She said, she just bought them in and I know she wants to move them quickly. So I'm like, okay, that's fine. It doesn't, it does not hurt to ask. And so sure enough, she came back and she said, yes, she'll give me a discount. She uh, took $25 off the entire set, which was great. I thought it was great. I really did. And then when I saw the sold comps on eBay, I shut my mouth. I shut my mouth because <laughs> I shut my mouth because I'm 100% sure that I would do well with these little spice jars, right? I mean, people will even buy them individually, right? Because I think they're building, they have them as a part of their collection. People, of course, love Disney. And like I said, these things have never been used. They are in pristine, pristine condition. And I made sure that I checked all of them, no chips or no cracks. And they are in excellent condition, right? 
So I think I did pretty good. I was a little, you know, I wasn't having buyer's remorse. But I'm like, oh, Don, oh my goodness, right? So, but it should be fine because here's the thing. I have sold, um, I have sold a Linux Spice set. I mean, how many was it? Um, let me think about this for a second. I don't know, maybe 12. It wasn't that many. And I know I didn't pay a lot for those because I think I got those from... Well, maybe I think I did. Now I'm thinking I did get those from Second Avenue, and I think it actually was more than twelve. But I paid up for those, but but I made a good profit on them, like a really really good profit on them, right? But they didn't sell right away. They did not sell right away, and I'm thinking the same thing with these with these Disney spice jars. They may not sell right away. They may not, right? But I know two things. I know that sometimes patience is good and you just have to find the right buyer, right? The right buyer. Somebody's looking for a Disney Spice set to start for their family or just to have it in their collection or whatever. And the way she had them displayed in the store, they were, it was amazing. So um, I think I'll do well. I definitely think I will, if, if it goes well, I will probably definitely double what I paid, if not more, if not double more than what I paid. So we shall, we shall see with that. But you know, the reality of it is, is that the thrift stores just don't cut it anymore. They don't like, like I said, Goodwill has been really good, right? Um, Second Avenue was always my go-to place. I've always gone there. And in the past left out there with two or three carts full of stuff on the weekends. And sometimes after work here lately, I would be, I would be, happy walking out there with the bag full of stuff and their prices have gone through the roof and on top of the fact that I have seen some unfortunate um behavior in the store so it kind of sort of kept me away <laughs> and um but 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 every now and then you know I'll get the urge to go just because I'm over in that area and I'll pop in and I will say that I was able to find a couple of good pieces um, the last time I went, but it's definitely not my go-to place anymore. So I'm going to still stick with Goodwill. Goodwill has been good to me and I'm still going to stick with going to antique malls and flea markets. And if I can find a good estate sale, I'll be sure to, um, go there as well. But in my area, I tell you the estate sales are not good. And when you go, um, they're not that good. So I don't know where people are going to these amazing estate sales where they are finding some amazing, amazing, items um but that doesn't happen too much here in maryland so maybe i just have to venture a little bit further out and uh see what's going on but a couple of things i'm excited about i am excited about this little piece right here i have no idea who this uh pascal uh walid uh artist is but it is clearly signed right and uh cobalt blue this cobalt blue color definitely does always really well for me and this gold uh this gold um accents uh, will do well and um so yeah so we shall see how everything does i think i did really really good i'm so glad for this haul and i think what i've been what i've been doing here lately is um before i put stuff up i just been um um taking the photographs of the items and then i put them in a box and then i move that box to my shed and i put i organize things like that so i think i'm going to do that tomorrow morning um, now, that, now that I've shown this video, so everything will be uh, hopefully listed by um, next week because, again, I got to photograph them and get them listed, but they should be listed by next week. So if, you're, if there's anything you guys are interested in before I get them up on my Etsy shop, please do let me know. And as always, guys, if you do like this type of content, please be sure to hit the bell and uh, um, so you will be notified when I do upload videos and... Um, that's it. All right, guys. Well, thank you so much for stopping by my, by my channel, Restore Glory. Thank you again so much for stopping by. And I will talk to you guys still, uh, talk to you guys soon. Wherever you are, if you are in, on the East Coast and you're experiencing any bad weather, my thoughts and my prayers are with you. And you guys take care and be safe. Smooches!